Hello friends! We are going to continue to learn about Vincent van Gogh. He's an amazing artist and he painted a picture entitled Sunflowers. I'd like to show it to you in my book. This is the picture. Many of you might have seen this before. It's a vase filled with bright vibrant colored sunflowers. Okay, and we are going to paint that picture. I'd like to tell you a little bit about Vincent van Gogh before we paint our picture. So Vincent van Gogh was an artist. He lived about 130 years ago and his paintings are so famous. You'll find them when you go into the art museum. Now, Vincent van Gogh didn't know what he wanted to do in life. He tried lots of different jobs before he became an artist. And he finally moved to Paris, France, and that's when he started draw, uh, painting pictures of sunflowers. He liked to paint sunflowers because he thought they were very sunny and happy. But amazingly, he only sold one piece of his artwork and now his artwork is worth millions of dollars. He used bright colored paints, big circle shapes and dark lines with lots of paint to create texture in his artwork. Okay, so today we're going to be making our own sunflower painting. Many times when you are painting, it's nice to look at a picture of what your painting could look like and this is uh, Vincent van Gogh's sunflower work. I also have some sunflowers with me. They're silk sunflowers, just so that you can see how a sunflower is shaped. It has green leaves, a green stem. It has a brown center where the sunflower seeds are and yellow petals. Just like in here, nice and brightly colored. So we're gonna make our own sunflower painting. Now today I have a piece of paper. I turned it in a portrait style. You can use either kinds of paint. You can use any color construction paper. I like to use brown for, this, for the uh, center of the sunflower, green for the stem, and yellow for the leaves. And you can either use watercolors or you could use paint, whatever you would like. I have paint on this pit plate, so that's what I'm going to use today. Okay, so I'm going to get my brush wet. And I'm going to make three sunflowers. They made many sunflowers, but today I'm going to make three. You can make as many as you would like. I'm going to start at the bottom and go up for the stem. And remember, Vincent van Gogh likes lots of texture. Two, and then one up here. And then along with the flowers, they need some leaves. So I'm going to make a leaf on this side and a leaf over on this side to help them grow. Now I'm going to draw the center of the flower paint the center of the flower and as I notice the center of the flower the shape is a circle so I'm going to make some brown three brown circles with my paint one brown circle two brown circles and three brown circles. And now I'm going to put my petals on my sunflower. Nice bright yellow petals.
On each of my sunflowers, I am making six petals. If you want to, you can make them bigger to make them touch, or you can just make them little lines. I'll make these bigger so you can see how they'll look if they touch each other. They're kind of in the shape of an oval, an ov ovoid. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to fill these in so you can see. right they are okay and if you would like to make a vase you could make a vase for the flowers as well and these are sunflowers some of you might be planting gardens this summer so you'll want to plant some sunflower seeds in your garden because they grow really tall and you can think of Vincent van Gogh and his sunflower artwork have fun friends